always heard the story that it is like living in a fishbowl, and it really is like living in a fishbowl. Do you know, have you talked with Lael about everyone coming everyone at town? Everyone has been notified. There are people in and out all the time. There's something happening all the time. The tours are going on, you know, daily. Uh, but I think I expected all of that. It's mid-morning, and already Linda Gale White is well into another long day as the first Lady of Texas. And they'll be here at 10 o'clock yeah. on Thursday. Thursday. Right. Will we just meet in the conservatory? Yes. Uh -huh. All these people work really hard in the campaign. And uh, how do you like our new house? <laughs> Okay. Okay, what is your name? Larry Lockridge. Larry O. L A U R I E. You know, I try to keep up. Mark is not one to come home and tell me what has happened at the office, so I, you know, I try to keep up through his conversations and through reading the newspaper and whatever. And I really intended to get over to the Capitol and really you know, sit in on some of the sessions. Hi, Hi. Hi. Good to how are see you? you? Mm. Good to see you. Hi, how are you? Mm. How y'all doing? She doesn't come here much. Linda Gale, as she prefers to be called, usually only comes to the Capitol for proclamations and swearing-in ceremonies. And let me assure you another thing, because we are just Just being there, smiling and cordial, wins her political points. I just wanted to tell you you're doing super. Thank you. Thank you. But I think, as I've told you, I'm very bashful and shy, and it's really kind of, you know, it, it's, it, it's awkward. It's a really awkward situation for me. Well, you just do it, you know, and you do, you, and I guess after you do it so much, you get a little more relaxed. What have you done officially today? Well, I met with him. There was even time for a quick visit with her husband. She usually doesn't see him much during the day. I lost my husband to the state capitol 10 years ago, so I knew, I mean, you know, it, it is not new to me. He loves it, and I think when he likes what he's doing, he's, you know, we're all happy. He's happy, and it makes us happy. It's back to the mansion for another tour, this time for daughter Elizabeth's brownie troop. I'm going to open you this door and let you know that two little boys hey, really do You have some toys and things. Right right absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so they really are. And if you look under the floor over here, the Atari is right <laughs> under there. <laughs> so they really do live here. Sure. We have put up the croquet game over there in the other yard if y'all want to go play croquet. Come on. Rookie! Mark has gone so much, and, and a lot of times it's just very impossible for him to find a lot of time to be with us, so it really takes an effort, and I think every mother can tell you that, whether she's in politics or just simply living a normal, routine life, that you really have to work to, to set time, you know, for your children. Family's real important to you, isn't it? Very much so. I mean, my children are 12, 10, and 8, and I think that's a very crucial time. Being First Lady makes it hard being a mother and doing all the mother things Linda Gale likes to do. Almost every move has to be on the schedule. The security guard is always there. That part is really kind of hard. I am basically a very independent person. I enjoy driving the car and doing my own thing and not having my day planned. That's really kind of been difficult getting accustomed to. Do you worry about security? No, no, I don't, you know, you, you can't worry about that sort of thing. I mean, they're here and they're doing their job and um, I don't think about it. Linda Gale doesn't clean the house anymore. She rarely cooks. But being a good wife and mother is her top priority. Anyone expecting an activist type first lady won't find that in Linda Gale. My bag is not to get in and be a political advisor for Mark because obviously that's not my expertise. Uh, I'm a teacher, I'm a mother, and so I try to direct what, you know, myself along those lines. I know that best. I asked her to be our speaker this evening because I think she exemplifies a woman who has successfully combined the roles of wife, mother, and businesswoman. I'm proud to introduce the First Lady of Texas, Linda Gale White.
This appearance at a UT sorority dinner is her last for this day. She's not real comfortable in the formal role of speechmaker, and she's also very tired by now. It's 9.30 when she finally arrives home, but in a way, all this is really just starting. There are nearly four more years of this long, tiring pace. And when it's over? Mainly, I want them to think of Linda Gale White, of, you know, someone who was in there trying her best and doing her best, and that's basically all I want to do. I'll be pleased if at the end of Mark's session, you know, we can come out saying that uh, Mark was a excellent governor and I was in there helping him all the way. Jack Kendrick, Channel 8 News, Austin. To the days when the good old boys were running things. Mike Caps, Channel 8 News, Houston.